In this lesson, we're going to create a custom view. This view is going to be a simple page display showing upcoming events using the teaser display mode. Right now, we only see upcoming events that are promoted to the front page. So just this homemade baby food event. And we do see it in the teaser display mode because that's what the home page is showing. In order to add a new view, I'm going to go under structure scroll down to the last item in the list, which is views. Now I'm going to add a new view, which I'm going to call upcoming events. Just like when we created content types and fields, the view also has a machine name that is automatically created and you're seeing it on the right hand side of the field for the view name. You can customize this if you want to, but using the automatic name ensures that you have a good machine name for your view. You can also describe the view. This description is for your administrative interface and helps you know what views are doing later on. As you're building your Drupal site, eventually you may end up with lots and lots of views. So the description can be incredibly important because you may have views that are doing fairly similar things. And it might be helpful to actually have the description to help you identify which view you want to be working with. I want this particular view to only show content of type event because this is a listing of upcoming events. So I don't need articles or basic pages or forum topics in this particular view. And right now I'm going to leave the sorting as newest first, and we'll deal with that in another lesson. I want to point out here that under show, you can also choose to have your view focus on comments or your log, your system log, your revision log. You can also focus on users or any number of other options available here. Most of your views are probably going to be content views. Now I want to create a page display. I'm going to leave the title as upcoming events because that's what I want this particular view to be called. The page title is going to be the header one on this page display. I also need to choose a path for this page display because it is going to be a page in my site. It's always a good idea to choose as simple of a path as possible, and you want to make sure that you're not trying to put spaces or characters into your path, but rather that your paths are simple alphanumeric paths. So I'm just going to change this to say events, because that's much shorter. It's a much easier URL to say to someone or to put into a URL field somewhere. I'm going to leave the page display settings as what they are by default, which is unformatted list of teasers. This is similar to what you're seeing on the front page as well. I'm also going to leave items to display as the default, showing 10 at a time and with a pager. I'm going to add a menu link because I want this particular page to display in the menu. I would like it to be in the main navigation, and it can simply say events. It doesn't need to say upcoming events. For the time being, I'm going to leave include an RSS feed and create a block off because we're going to create those in another lesson. And now I can go ahead and save and edit. This takes me to an interface where I can refine my view even further, which we're going to take a look at in another lesson. For now, however, let's go back to the site and take a look at how this view actually works on our site. So I now have an events tab here and scrolling down, we see all four of the events that I created earlier. There's no pager yet because there aren't more than 10 events, so there's no need for a pager. Right now, events are displaying in teaser form with the most recent entered first. Ultimately, what we want is for the next upcoming event to display first. And those are changes that we're going to make as we edit this view in the additional lessons in this chapter. I also want to point out here that you can't edit this page the way that you can edit other pages. Let me flip over to another page quickly so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to click on Why Tasty Cakes, which is a page view. And you'll see that right under the title here, I have this Edit and Delete tab available. If I click Edit, it allows me to actually edit this page right here. Let's go back to View. I can also use the Quick Edit link. If I mouse over this particular piece of content here, I can click on the little pencil and do the quick edit editing in here. If I go back to that events menu item, I don't see those tabs at the top right under the title. 
I do have the little quick edit options, but they don't allow me to actually edit the content. Instead, they say edit view. I can get in and edit the content for a specific item in the view, but this won't edit the view as a whole and it won't edit the page. It just edits the piece of content that I'm looking at when I hit quick edit. This is because a view is not a node. A view is a list of nodes. So if you want to actually edit the content in a view, you have to edit the content itself or the node itself, not the view.